Hello YouTubers, diecast collectors, it's Jared White, the JMan63. And this video, I'm going to be covering my top 13 favorite pieces. Um, I know Count 5 had issued the challenge at 5 pieces, but I have so much stuff in my collection that it's kind of hard to really narrow it down to what my favorite pieces are. Um, so I'm cheating a bit. Well, about I'm probably about seven, eight pieces over what the challenge really says you need to do. But um, I'm not really going to go in any specific order because it's kind of hard for me to really order them because the way I have them stacked, I really couldn't tell you what really is my favorite. But to start off, I'm going to go with one of my favorite pieces I got that was really cheap. Um, this is my Big Daddy Don Garlet Swamp Rat by GMP. Uh, this piece I scored at a thrift shop. Um, for me this was one of my cheaper pieces that I got for the money. Um, $20, I think I paid $25 for this. Um, not super expensive, again this is super detailed if you look at it. So there's a lot going on here. It really is a detailed piece. If you can see, it's a nice uh, wiring plumbed engine, wired and plumbed. I mean, interior right there. I'm trying to hold this up to the camera so you can see that. But it really is a nice um, piece. I had to get this when I saw it. This was from Denby Hobby Center. I just went in there one day, went through the back room. When I saw this, I asked him how much he wanted for it. it said 25 bucks. I was thinking, well, shut up and take my money. Because, uh, to be honest with you, that's a really good price for something like this. You really can't go wrong for 25 bucks. I mean, it's a GMP. It's a really nice model. So, if you're going to buy one, I recommend it. So, sorry, my cats are getting rambunctious. Please excuse that. But anyway... That's probably number one. Uh, I don't know how to say it anymore. That's just one of my favorite pieces. But very cool. Alright, so I'm going to set that aside. That way it doesn't get messed up. Next up here. I don't normally, I uh, wouldn't list a whole lot of green lights as some of my favorites. But this definitely ranks as one of them. Uh, this was definitely when this came out. was one of my grail pieces. I mean, all these are pretty much my grail pieces because these are my favorites. But this one right here, um, I got it for my birthday. I got it with pretty much my own money. And I uh, absolutely love this set. I mean, it's got the Dodge Charger in it, Eleanor, and the Corvette Stingray. And then you got the uh, other Corvette convertible. So yeah, this definitely was one of my favorites. I just got it at Toys R Us. I mean, nothing really, no really special story to it, but it's pretty cool. But there's the back if you've never actually read it, but you can see right there. So it's a very cool set. Like I said, I like what Greenlight does. That's one of my definite favorite Greenlight pieces I have. All right, so the next one up here, I really can't talk about you know thrift shops and places I go to without talking about this one uh, this is the twin mill and I know you guys have probably seen this review on my channel because I did do a couple reviews that had some of my favorite cars featured in them and twin mill is definitely one of them uh, with this this set as the uh, one of the pinnacles of Hot Wheels uh, in detailing and all these sets are really nice to get um, this one, I just uh, my friend Don told me about it, and I got it from this place called the Yard Sale. And uh, when I got there, he said he wanted twenty-five, but he knocked five dollars off it, so I got this for twenty. So this was cheaper than the Swamp Rat, and this has just as nice detailing, and if not, you know, better or equal to. But if you want to read this right here, you can. But this definitely is one of my favorite Hot Wheels pieces that I have um, I mean there's gonna be a bunch of Hot Wheels in this haul or not haul but top favorite pieces video I mean not really a haul but there's gonna be a lot of Hot Wheels you're gonna see 
All right, so there is that one. Definitely my uh, favorite 124 scale that I have in my collection, if not one of the best. All right, so the next one up here is a Hot Wheels set. Um, I got this for Christmas from uh, Don, who is my uh, seller. He usually sells me his uh, die cast, and I absolutely love this set. This is the Hot Rod 100% or Hot Wheels collectible set. This one has the Malco Gasser, the Ohio George Gasser, the Invader Show Car. I absolutely love this piece. But these are my favorite um, sets to collect. As the Hawaiian Funny Car with the flip top body. If you look inside, you can see all the motor detailing. It is very nice up in there. Very sweet piece. Then it's got the Pro Street Camaro with a blower. That's very cool. Even got the roll cage inside of there. It's a very nice piece. Very nice pieces, actually, I should say, but this counts as one piece. But if you want to read the uh, info blurb on the back, there you can. Pause it and read. But there you go. So that's a very cool piece. I actually got this from Don. Like I said it was a Christmas gift. Um, my mom did pay for this, and it was a... Uh, just a very nice set. I absolutely love this piece. Alright, so now moving on to another one of my uh, favorite um, pieces, I think. Uh, again, this was another uh, sell to me by Don. I bought this for about $20. I'm going to say this is the Beatnik Bandit. And the box is a bit rough, as you can see. But it's not super bad. I like. I mean, I love this piece. I love the Beatnik Bandit. I probably should tape that up right there. But I absolutely love this car. Uh, Ed Roth is definitely one of my favorite designers in terms of hot rodding and one of my favorite in terms of the car culture. He is definitely responsible for a lot of the movement. And I absolutely love this car. It's just so detailed. One of my favorite Hot Wheels by far in my collection. But, um, yeah, Don sold me this one, and this was, you know, me just at the car show, and I had some money to burn, and I had to buy this. This was very cool. So, uh, I love this piece. Alright, so the next one up here, you know, while we're on the subject of Ed Roth and some of his cars... Um, we may as well do another Ed Roth piece. Um, this, without a doubt, is probably one of the more expensive 100% sets that I bought. I did get it off of eBay, but this was not cheap. This ran me about $35, and uh, it was expensive, but you know, to me it was worth it. I mean, I love Ed Roth. Again, you know, he is responsible for some awesome cars. This has the Ford pickup, the 56 Ford F100, which is awesome. And you have the road agent. And you can look right there. The road agent. The Mysterion, which I just think is an awesome car. It's twin engined. I mean, this is before like a lot of twin engine cars were built. I mean, that really is one of his more iconic vehicles. Very, very cool. Absolutely awesome. Then he got his Outlaw. I mean, that car pretty much speaks for itself. I mean, it's on countless uh, Ed Roth posters and, you know, all kinds of t-shirts. I mean, that car is super famous. Very, very cool, though. I absolutely love that one. So, but if you want to read on the back, there's really not a whole lot about each individual car. But you can read right there. And you can read that. But yeah, that's definitely one of my favorite sets. And I, like I said, $35 I paid. It wasn't cheap, so that's that's more than some of the M2 machines per car. Um, kind of give you an idea of how expensive that is. It's almost like 7 or $8 a car. 
so. Yeah, it's about eight eight dollars a car, eight fifty a car, give or take. I mean it wasn't cheap. But it's a very nice set. Alright, another one of my favorites here. Um I love Carol Shelby. Um, I've had this forever, uh, probably more than uh, six or seven years. It's been, God, I think it's been eight years I've had this thing, and uh, it's just been in my collection for such a long period of time. This is the Shelby Collectibles uh, showroom. This has uh, eight, one, two, three. This has seven cars in it. Um, I'm not sure how much this cost when it came out, but it's still a cool set to me. I absolutely love this uh, piece here. This has the Shelby, uh, I think one's a GT500. One's the Super Snake uh, Trilingua edition. Or this is the Shelby Trilingua Mustang. This is the GT500 right here. Then you have the Cobra Coupe. And then the Super Snake right here which is the baddest one of the Mustangs that you could buy. That's the most badass Mustang you could get in 2000 and I think 2008 or something was the Super Snake Trilingua edition. Then you got the GT350 right there which is really cool because I love that one. And I, have a, I have a few GT350s in my collection. Then you have the Cobra 427 and then you have uh, Carol's own personal super snake right there so it's a very cool set um, this is a Christmas gift to Toys R Us this really doesn't have a whole lot of a backstory but um, yeah I do like this one a lot alright so now the next one up here is another bike or is a bike not another bike there is another bike in here but I'll show that in a minute this one is the Black Widow and uh, I did get this on eBay. Um, this was probably my more expensive of the OCC bikes that I bought. Um, but when I saw this for 47 on eBay, and I don't know if anybody was watching it, but I had to get it um, when I saw it there. Uh, it was 37 plus like 10 in shipping or something like that. I don't know exactly what the figure on this was that I paid for it. But um, this definitely is one of my favorite bikes. Um, I grew up on OCC. It was a major show for me. I would watch it all the time. And this bike definitely defines the show. I mean, this was Pauly's most iconic bike. Um, showed in V-Twin magazine. I mean, it's been shown. I mean, this is even on the intro of the show. I mean, I mean, you really can't get any cooler than this bike. This thing's badass. Absolutely love it but just super detailed um, this one they definitely did it right I mean you can't really can't see through all the dust here I'm gonna sorry I bumped the camera um, but really it is a nice piece it's one tenth scale so that means all the the foot pegs the brake levers work on it I mean it really is a sweet piece to have if you're an OCC fan so I absolutely love this bike Definitely one to get. And here's all the info on the details and stuff. Here's the back. Really, really love this one. This was, you know, an eBay find. It was, you know, one I've been looking for. I bought a bunch of the OCC bikes already. You know, I have a lot of my collection. I mean, I have this one. I have, I have this one. I got this. Obviously this one. And then... I have the jet bike and Lucy's bike and I have the tool bike, I mean the Comanche and also the tool bike. But um now this one definitely defines OCC for me. I mean, if I'm going to pick my favorite OCC bike, this one has to be it. I mean, to me there's no other. If you have an OCC collection, this one definitely stands out. Just a very awesome just piece of American chopper. Very, very awesome to own. All right, now the next one up here is going to be another um, kind of a thrift store find. Uh, this one, I don't know, this has to rank in my either my top three 
I mean, if I was going to pick a uh, top five, this is definitely one of my, uh, on the top end here, along with the Twin Mill and the uh, GMP Dragster. This is the Monsters Coach. Now, my mom's boyfriend did get me the uh, Dragula, and that is pretty awesome. I mean, I have to say I don't like that one. I love the Dragula, but this one to me has more of a story to it. Um, this one, I uh, I was with my dad one day, and we were um, going to the laundromat, and I just decided to pop into the thrift store, and lo and behold, I see this monster coach, and uh, I knew somehow I was going to get it, but this is when I didn't have a job, and I didn't have any real money available to me. This was at the beginning of last year, and a lot of the pieces are from last year, like the Twin Mill, the Black Widow, and you know, a lot of the pieces in this uh, video are from last year, and that's because last year had I got so many epic finds, but this one, I went to the Super Bowl party my dad was having, and I just uh, had a bunch of keychains I brought there. I managed to sell like 30 or 35, maybe $33 worth of keychains, and I wound up going back to this thrift store when me and my mom were going out and about, and uh, I bought this... Uh, right there on the spot. I mean, this definitely really started my, uh, or this was definitely one of the things that started me on thrift stores as opposed to the flea market and the other secondary shops. Uh, this definitely has me thinking twice about hunting at thrift stores because now I definitely want to keep checking them out. But you can see it's got a whole bunch of detailing on it. it really is nice. One of the more awesome finds I've found at a thrift store. I mean, I definitely rank this among my top uh, three or four finds. Definitely awesome. That's just a badass looking piece. And, uh, alright, so the next couple of pieces up here are drag racing. There's a bunch of, uh, drag racing theme and kind of a hot rod theme to this haul, but this is definitely one of my favorites. Again, I've had this piece for a very long time. Um, this is definitely one that definitely kick-started my, um, 100% Hot Wheels collectibles collecting. I mean, this is definitely one of them that got me into buying the more expensive Hot Wheels from the older years. Um, I, I think I asked for this one off of eBay. This is probably another eBay find. Um, but this is very cool. I mean, I love the Snake and the Mongoose. Uh, two of the most iconic, one of the some of the best drag racers out there. And this thing is cool. It's very, very awesome. But uh, it's got like a kind of a rim and tire box type deal going on. But I think these are very cool cars. I mean, Tom McEwen and this the Snake Prudhomme, are, I mean, are they're definitely the best drag racers out there. If not, you know, I mean, they're probably in the Hall of Fame, the NHRA Hall of Fame by now, if not anything. I mean, they're definitely... Uh, Two of the best. I mean, you, you can't get any better. I mean, this is... I want to get the 124 scale Legend sets of these if I can find them for a decent price. But, I mean, these definitely rank among my top um, Hot Wheels and die casts. I mean, these are definitely cool. Alright, so now I'm going to move on to the next piece. And that is the Bruce Meyer Gallery. Um, this is definitely awesome. I bought this on eBay. Again, I think... I think I paid about $30. I, this may have been $35. I know this was about as expensive as the Ed Ross set, if not as much. Um, but this has the most, um, some of the most iconic race cars in history. I mean, this has the the first uh, Snake Dragster. This is the Snake um, Rail Rail Dragster. This has the Agajanian Special. The Pearson Brothers 32 Ford. And then you have the SoCal Belly Tanker. I mean, these are definitely like some of the California car culture pieces that a lot of people love. Um, this definitely is one of my favorite sets. And Bruce Meyer is actually one of the founders or curators of the Pearson, of the Peterson Automotive Museum. Oh, he's the cheer chairman. So he's a contributor and he's a chairman of the Peterson but if you read right here you can see all the info on the set 
I know I've shown this in another haul video, but like I said, I'm just highlighting all my favorite pieces that I have in my collection. So the next one up here is an old piece. I mean, this is this is a little uh, more older than most of my pieces I have right now. Um, I got this when I was just starting collecting. I mean, when my collection was getting larger, um, and my mom got this for me off of eBay, and when I looked at all the details on it, I think this car really kickstarted my you know, love of the detailed pieces that I wanted in my collection. Um, I mean, at the time, all I really had was like Jada, and that was about all I really collected. I had an auto art Dodge Viper at the time, and when I looked at the details on this and my auto art Viper, um, uh, these definitely got me into the more detailed stuff. I mean, I collected Maisto at the time, but I never really had anything super nice until this one. And this definitely, like, you know, made, was kind of a make or break for my collection when I wanted to get all the really nice detailed stuff. I mean, you can see on the back here, I've reviewed this car before. Um, you can go check it out on my channel. But um, definitely uh, one of the more detailed pieces that I have and still kind of do have in my collection. Um, and it definitely uh, speaks a lot, you know, for what I love to collect. I mean, my mom got me this and a Cobra. I mean, this is just around the last couple of years I was living in the uh, old apartment. But I've had this piece now a good um, seven or eight years. I mean, this definitely is what kick-started my interest in, you know, going for the more detailed stuff instead of buying just a few things to fill my shelf. I mean, this definitely was... One of the pieces that got me kickstarted on the more detailed die casts. So, I mean, this for me is probably one of my more crowning pieces that I still have. I mean, because I love Eleanor. I love Gone in 60 Seconds. I mean, if you all know that. I mean, if you all saw the, uh, the set of green lights I have, I mean, this definitely is a no-brainer. I had to pick this out. I mean, a lot of my 118th scale is really nice. I mean, this definitely is another one that just defines collecting for me and I love it I mean I still do and I'm probably gonna have this piece till I stop collecting I mean I absolutely love it very 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 cool Although I don't know if I'm ever gonna stop collecting alright so there you go there's that one now this last piece here is another bike um, this is my Von Dutch Dragnut and for me um, this was a few years after I'd met my friend Don at the car show, and he is probably one of my connoisseurs of die casts. I mean, he's definitely my go-to guy when I want to get anything. I've definitely bought a bunch of my bikes from him. Um, this one probably being one of my favorite, if not uh, one of the best bikes I bought. Um, he's turned me on to a lot of stuff. He, he's the one who told me about the Arlen Ness Nostalgia bike that I have. And that would have been in this, um, but I think this probably is one of my more um, favorite pieces I bought from him. Um, this is when I was just starting collecting. Um, I had just moved into this place, and um, I wanted to start, you know, I like bikes a lot, and, you know, when Don showed me this, I mean, I had to have it. It was $50.00. At the time, I don't really know if I had a job. I may have been working through a job program at school. Um, but anyway, I, I managed to scrape together $50. It was either from my mom or my dad. And when I bought this, it is definitely worth it. And if you look at all the detailing on here, if you look at the back, I mean, big giant rear tire. And it's super nice. Like I said, it definitely ranks up there as one of my favorites in my collection. I mean, everything works on it. The clutch and the pedals work. The belts rotate. I mean, it is a Jada piece, but for a Jada, this is really, really nice. I mean, these were some of the really nice Jada pieces they did. The springers actually worked on it. I mean, everything worked. It is very nice. If you look up here, just all the detail. I mean... Like I said, this is another piece that really kick-started my collecting. I mean, this really got me into more detailed pieces, just like that Shelby. I mean, this really 
you know, help me out. I mean, Don's really showed me a lot of awesome stuff over the years, and he's really gotten me into, you know, what I am and what I'm into today. You know, the hot rod kind of culture scene and just the drag racing stuff that I love. I mean, Don has really gotten me into a lot of things now, and I mean, it's awesome. I mean, he's definitely paved the way for uh, my collecting, and this definitely is one of the pieces that I would rank up there along with my Black Widow. But anyway, um, my name is Jared White, the J-Man 63. Um, if you like this video, make sure you leave a thumbs up. You know, if you didn't, leave a thumbs down or whatever. But, um, you know, I, um, I definitely, uh, it took me a lot to narrow it down to, you know, all this stuff. I mean, it, I know it's still a lot of stuff to take in and, you know, see, I know I kind of cheated a bit, but, you know, whoever is out there who wants to show off their top, um, favorite pieces, I nominate you, you know, if anybody hasn't shown it, um, I don't really know who to nominate, but, you know, I'm sure a couple of people out there haven't really done it, so, you know, if you're out there, you know, go through your attic, you know, go through your basement, your storage bins, whatever, you know, have you, your dresser drawers, I mean, and, you know, show off all your top favorite pieces that you love that, you know, really got you into collecting, you know, whatever you like. You know, make sure you show off your um your favorites. I mean, I uh, think, like I said, Count Five issued this challenge, and uh, I want to thank him for that, and uh, you know, getting me to uh, pull out my favorite pieces. I mean, it took a lot for me to narrow it down to just uh, 13, but um, these definitely are some of my favorite pieces, my Holy Grail finds, you know, what have you. And these are definitely some of the pieces that really define collecting for me. And, you know, to this day will still define collecting for me. You know, what I like and what I'm into. I mean, this definitely is, uh, you know, a lot of hot rod type stuff. But I still like, you know, stock street cars. But, you know, this definitely is some of my favorite just die cast in general. And like I said, a lot of people are responsible, you know, Don and... You know, some of the stuff I found on eBay and my mom, you know, a few people definitely responsible for, you know, what I collect today. Big, you know, thanks and shout out to them. And my dad, too. I mean, there's been a lot of people that have been responsible for getting me into this stuff. I mean, the guy at the Denby Hobby Center. I mean, there's been, you know, countless people. The guy at the yard sale. I mean, I've met a lot of people along the way of collecting and just buying stuff in general. And, uh... You know, just a big shout out to everyone I've met and seen along the way and, you know, bought from and, you know, gotten all my stuff. So, anyway, I'm Jared White, the J-Man 63. Uh, like I said, make sure you check out my channel. Make sure you subscribe. And uh, stay tuned for more videos. And uh, have a good one, guys. Bye.